Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So, um, just wanted to put this out there. I had a rough week. It's, it was only Thursday, but I had a massive migraine yesterday. Um, one of my cavities is completely gone, so I'm having a hard time eating. And uh, just a lot of kind of stressful things going on this week. <clears throat> so if I seem a little out of it, it's because I am. Anyhow, this shouldn't be too hard. It's the um, most exciting video for me to film, and that is a brush haul. And again, it's from CD Japan, and I am officially addicted to CD Japan. And um, I put this order in on Monday, and today's Thursday. I received them today. And that's, that is amazing. It shipped the next day, and then two days after that, it was at my door. And um, it's just, I don't know how, how they managed to get these products from Japan to my doorstep in, in such a short period of time. I mean, it would take me longer to fly there. Seriously. I feel like it would take me longer to get there. Anyhow, um, this is an especially exciting haul because I went ahead and I bought a couple of Bisiotto brushes and um, I've been eyeing a couple of these for a while and they did not disappoint. I haven't used any of these, I just got them. So I'm just talking about like my first impression. But anyways, I'll leave the um, the Bisiotto brushes for the end and I am going to start off with the G10 from Chikuhoto. This is a liquid um, like foundation brush. This is one, I'll have to be honest, a little disappointing so far because it's so much shorter than I thought it would be. Um, I don't know, I get mixed up with the GSN and the G series and for some reason I didn't think it was going to be a short handle but it, but it is. But it's a beautiful handle and it's got this really nice gold ferrule and it's a very very densely packed brush. But not just the short handle that kind of is not impressing me is the bristles are not that soft. And it looks almost identical to my uh, Koyuto foundation brush. It's just a little bit like rounded, and I think the I think it's the exact length of the Koyuto one. And I'm not mad, but the Koyuto one is softer. I will say, um, it feels higher quality, but the Chikuhoto maybe feels a little denser. I'm not. 100% sure, but I can just tell just by doing this that these um, hairs are not as high quality as this. But um, I'm sure it will make a fabulous brush for doing um, my liquid foundation. You know, it's a little small for the entire face, but you know, little like spot foundationing. Um, I think this would work really well for that. Okay, and the next one that's made out of goat hair. I didn't say what kind but um it's a goat hair okay the next one is going to be a mizuho foundation brush now i really wanted to get a high quality uh, synthetic foundation brush and this one feels amazing it's um pbt is the uh name of the material it, it reminds me of the hourglass um foundation brushes or their, you know, whatever their brushes are called. Um, it's very, very soft. And I am not used to, to uh, doing my foundation with a brush like this. So I'll be interested to see how it's gonna work. It kind of feels like it might soak up a lot of product because I use liquid foundation, but um, we'll see how it goes. But it's a beautiful brush. I really, really enjoy my other Mizuho brush. I use that one pretty much every day for my um, my cream, contour, and bronzer. But um, this one, it looks a little different. It's a different series from, from the other one. But um, just, just as beautiful. And uh, 
I'm really excited for this one. I was at really, really looking forward to this one as well. And I got another Mizuho brush. It is an eye brush. And the reason I got this one... Oh no, it got stuck. Okay, it almost got stuck to the, the tape there. Uh, it's a, a blending brush. It's made of gray squirrel and pony hairs. And um, the reason I got it is because it reminds me of the Wingoss 3, which I love, except it has more of a point, which is something I kind of wish the Wingoss had. So this is the Wingoss, this is the Mizuho. So you see how the Mizuho has like a little point? I think that will be very helpful when it's, um, when it's time to put my transition shade. And that way it could kind of be a little bit more specific as opposed to this. This kind of just like gets the shadow all over. But this one I feel like I can kind of concentrate the color a little bit better. So it's really, really soft. It's super silky. And it feels pretty, pretty much identical to the Wayne Goss number three. And it's a little, it's actually a lot smaller, but the length is, I think, identical. It's just, um, it's more pinched and it's cut or, or arranged at a, in a point as opposed to this is rounded. So I'm really excited to give this a try. I'll try these all tomorrow. And um, so, and then now I have the Bisiotto brushes. What, this one is the Cherry series. And I know, um, I got a comment from one of my subscribers that they got this series. I think she got five of um, the face brushes from the Cherry series and she really, really likes it. She recommended the foundation brush, but that was on back order. So, you know, my impatient self was not going to wait two weeks for a brush. So I got this one. It's their um, little highlighting cheek brush. And uh, so far, it's, it feels really nice. It's not super silky or anything, but it's a beautifully made brush. There is something that is, I don't know if it's intentional, but there's like some like uh, texture on the ferrule. I actually thought it was rust at first, but it's not. It's just, it has to do with something with the manufacturing, but I don't know if you can see it on camera but um, it has this really pretty wooden handle. It's not really um, lacquered or anything. And the nice thing is they have the, um, the type of brush here. It's the HL-CH. I don't know what that, Highlight Cheek Brush, that's what it stands for. So it's dyed uh, Psycho, oh, it's dyed, so coho goat hair. It's not super silky. It reminds me a lot of the Wayne Goss number two, which is why I got it. But it's not, it's not soft like this one. This one is a lot, it has more spring, like it's not as flexible and it's not as soft, but the cut is very, very similar. And, um, but I'm planning to try it for like powdering the under eyes. I don't use a ton of highlighter, so I'm guessing it's going to be more of a powder brush for me. So that's the highlight cheek brush from uh, Bisciotto. All right, so now we have the star of the show, the brush I have really, really been eyeing for some time, and that is the Bisciotto, sorry, B-C-1 highlight cheek brush. It came in this in its own box like this and just beautifully packaged. It came with a brush guard also. And it's this series, the, um, I can't remember, it's this special wood like African maple wood or something. It's this, I love this aesthetic of this brush and it has the writing in gold. Let me see if I could give you guys a good look. And this is Psycho Hogo hair. This is dyed Psycho Hogo hair, I'm assuming. And it's like a, a gold-plated ferrule, and it's one of their like longer handled brushes. Both of these are longer handled. For Bisciotto, they have a short series, which is shorter. So of course I didn't get that one. But this brush, it just feels so luxurious. It's just um, like 
the classiest brush that I have. It is pretty weighty, it is, it is a heavy brush, but I think the length of the handle is perfect. And um, I'm probably gonna do, probably blush, maybe powder, um, I'm not sure, but this is a very useful size and it's super, super silky. So it would also be good for powdering if you don't want your powder to get cakey or anything. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be good for powder or blush better. I, I'm, I think this is one of those brushes that pretty much anything you use it for, it's gonna provide like a really nice finish. So this is one that I was really, really looking forward to. I look forward to all my brushes, but this one especially, this is the um, most expensive, most luxurious brush in this haul, and uh, it does not disappoint so far. All right, so that's really it for now. Um, I'm, I took a little time off this week just because of everything going on. I'm trying to be more consistent with my videos. I try to get three a week, but <clears throat> sometimes that just is not going to happen. But um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.